Hello beautiful and welcome back to the Pink Room Co. for another Plan With Me video. This video is very much overdue. I think this was filmed two weeks ago and now I just have the chance to sit down and edit this video. But further ado, here's the Plan With Me video. We are using Inked Courage this week for the Plan With Me. It's going to be a no white space. Uh, this kit is a little bit more muted and I guess masculine but it has a feminine touch but it's not as girly as my other kits as before. I just want to show you guys how thick my planner is right now like right here the pages on the left as you can see here is everything from December till now and the rest is the other half of the year. So I think I have to take some out and store it somewhere else because my plan is just getting way too thick because of all the stickers. You see here, this was my last plan with me using the July mystery kit. And we are going to plan from the 20th till the 26th. Let's get started. As always, I start with the bottom washi because I like to say I lay my foundation down when I build my stickers up. So I do the bottom washi and I always do this when it's a no white space spread for me. I like to apologize that I'm always rotating my pages. I know that's really annoying to some people, but it's the only way for me to see what I'm putting down without having my head, as you can see there was a little bit of my head or hair, sticking into the camera and it's not really nice to see the top of my head so that's why I have to rotate a bit so that I could see what I'm doing and putting down the sticker straight. Next I'm going to build my sidebar so here's one of my checklists and then I think I yes I forgot to put the header here as you can see so I just peel it back out again and place my header I think that it says important and another scallop checkbox with a daily habit and a reminder sticker on top. I don't know if you noticed, but those header stickers are in the shape of a scroll because I think that's a bit fitting for this kit tear. Now on to the ombre heart check boxes. I like to, as I said again, put it to the side and build or stack up my boxes if that makes sense because it's just easier to align all the stickers together. Next are my to-do headers that I'll be putting down. Now this one's actually decorated with roses. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but yes, roses are my headers. And I just love it. I just love flowers and florals. I just felt that this kit was very masculine of it with the muted colors and the black. So I figure I have to put some kind of girly thing into it. And roses are pretty popular when people get tattoos, right? So I figured roses are great. And now on to the full boxes. I like to have my quote sticker usually in the middle of the spread because that's where my eyes usually are drawn towards the center of the spread. So that's why it's the first thing I put down and then the rest I just play around just to spread out the colors a bit or the design. So the inspiration for this kit is actually for Mother's Day around that time I was designing this kit. And I'm like, what? Could I do that's different than flowers and girly thing for Mother's Day and I'm like you know what what do you guys do for the mom and I figured oh my gosh they get tattoos of mom like the word mom on them so I'm like all right let's let's use that as one of my inspiration and motivation to design this kit next is washi time and as you can see there's a lot of washi that I pulled out it's because this is such a challenge to me because I, I don't know. I don't know what washi works well or not and I just can't make up my mind. And for me, I cannot pull out the washi beforehand. Like when I have the kit in front of me, I can't pull it out. I have to do my spread first, then pull out all the washi that I think it may fit or work and then put it onto my spread, take a step back and look at it and see what will work well or not. So here you see me just playing around, pulling things in and out or unraveling it just to see if it matches or not. That's my way of picking washi out and I don't know what other way 
or how to do it, but this is my way and for me, I think it works this way. Like, how do you guys do it? How, how do you pick out your washi for your weekly spread? I would love to know your technique and your ways because this is always a pain for me and it's always a challenge for me to, to pick out the washi that will fit, what washi will work for your spread. And thank goodness for fast forward because I think I spent at least 15 minutes deciding what should pair with what and where it should go with where. Oh, hair, oh my gosh. I want to show you, this is actually a Heidi Swap um, washi tape and oh my gosh, it's like the sticky part was on top of it so somehow when it's rolled up, the sticky part got melted onto the top part of the washi so now the bottom of the washi is not sticky and the top part is all sticky and it's literally the whole, see here as you can see, it pulled off all the washi from the top onto the bottom. And that's the whole roll. Here I am trying to peel it off, peel it, hoping it will stop, but it won't. Oh, what a mess. Now, this is Heidi Swap's collection. And honestly, I am not having the best luck with her collection. All the washi tapes I buy either are too fragile and it breaks really gently or that this occurs. So, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have Heidi Swap washies out there or are using it and have you know no problem with it but every time every time I use their washi there's always a problem so I'm pretty upset about that I just went back to my collection to grab a similar washi that kind of looked like the one that I wanted to use initially and use that one instead so here I am just laying down the middle washi I think with this midsection I'm going to do a layering effect I decided to go with this silver sparkly washi just to add a little, I guess, lightness to the spread because it's very dark with all the black ink. I just want to show you guys how I usually align my mid washi tapes or laying washi tapes when there's no guidelines or any anchor marks to put my washi tape down. I just overlap one page on top of the other and just hope that it's straight. And next, I'm going to finish off all my washi with this header washi that comes with the kit, which is super easy. Just put it on. That's all you have to do. Okay, Monday. So my little one has school slash daycare. And because it's a no white space, I'm just filling in the blocks to cover everything. And my in-laws going to have a quick little visit. So I'm just going to indicate that with a heart and a car. And also it's grocery day too on Monday. Tuesday I'm going to try gardening so I'm just going to add a half box there to indicate my gardening time. And then at this moment I realized I forgot to put my meal plan sticker down because I usually put it first before I start doing my today's section and I usually put it on top of the washies but somehow I forgot to do that and now I'm just trying to figure out where I should place these meal plan stickers. So I decided to put it at the bottom of my to-do ombre heart check boxes and just line it there instead. Now back to my today's. Tuesday is also going to be my creative day. I'm going to indicate that with a little design sticker there. And Wednesday is school slash daycare. Also I need to remind myself that day to go grocery shop for a picnic. There's a picnic at the park on Thursday so I have to make sure that I buy some little goodies for that picnic that day. It's a city program, early years picnic, end of the school year picnic party, so they're going to have it at the park. And on to Thursday, as I said earlier, there's a picnic at the park that day, so I'm just going to indicate that with a little basket. <laughs> My husband has hockey that night too. And Friday, my little one has school slash daycare. My husband also have a golf tournament that day, but I don't have any golf stickers, so I'm just gonna use a workout icon sticker for that. And also, I got a plan that day and fill my plan with me on Fridays. 
and on to the weekend now I'm just using the last full boxes here and I just cut it in half and placed it on the top because it's a no white space spread and also my weekend banner is not really a banner it's actually a, a decorative sticker that says weekend with the two birds on it holding a scroll with a rose in the middle let me see if I can zoom you guys in and lastly the weekend the section at the bottom it's always very hard for me to fill in because I never know what to put in those two boxes and sometimes I do not have enough full boxes or washi to cover it all up as a uh, no white space I know some of you guys use the ombre heart check boxes all the way from Monday to Sunday but for me I like to leave the weekend as doing nothing because <laughs> it is my day off too and I don't want to do anything that day except spend time with my family so here I just put a thankful for header on top of a mini checkbox and also on Sunday I placed a work on header and another ombre heart checkbox there because this kit is called encourage I decided to do some inking myself just regular stamps with silver ink on it I also decided to stamp some branches with flowers on it because it matches the theme of the kit. Uh, the ink I'm using is actually a dusty petal rose color. And here you see me just stamping onto the paper. The white piece of paper is just to mark off the places that I don't want to stamp. So it doesn't get onto the kit itself as you can see. I'm just going to wait a few minutes before I start writing into my spread because I do want the ink to dry because if it doesn't, if I don't wait, it's going to smudge and I'm going to be so mad at myself. So I'm just going to wait for 10 minutes. Once the ink is dried, I'm going to add in my decorative stickers. I felt the sidebar was missing something so I went through my Man B sticker quote book and found this quote and I love it because it's a circle sticker too and it fits perfectly with my decor and my kit. Here I am just going to finish it up with my decorative sticker. As you can see this kit does come with a lot of decorative stickers. I'm still trying to use it all up here in my spread. that's done and I'm just going to show you that there's still a lot of stickers left over from the kit so you could use it for another week if you like or pair it up with another one thank you guys for taking your time to watch this plan with me video I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did enjoy creating and making it if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up I 
truly appreciate that. And I will see you in my next Plan With Me video. Thank you guys for watching again and happy planning. Bye!